I'm Anil Kumar. We are exploring parallel and transverse lines and we'll find the unknown angles. The figure given to us has two parallel lines which is being cut with transverse lines. You could see two transverse lines in this case. Now let us find what is the measurement for the angle x, y and z. We are also given that segment y x is same as the other segment let me name them as a b and let's say you know this point as c this point as d and then we can make this this is e it works okay that's fine so that will help us to communicate now since we have an isosceles triangle a x i mean let's let me call this point as e okay so a e equals to e b that is given to us, right? That means we have isosceles triangle AEB and that means the measurement of angle EBA equals to measurement of angle EAB and EAB is given to us as 35, so that is 35 degrees, correct? So with that, we find this angle to be 35 degrees. Now, we can find X. Since sum of angles in a triangle is 180, so what is X equals to? Measurement of this angle AEY is X. X is equals to 180 degrees. Take away these two 35s. 35, 35 is 70, so that should be 110 degrees. Is it okay? So we get this x value as 110 degrees. Now, do you look for patterns? Parallel lines, so this is a parallel line, transverse line, right? So this is kind of the situation. So this becomes an alternate angle, correct? So these angles are alternate angles, alternate interior angles they should be equal. So y is equals to x, so that should be equals to 110 degrees. They are alternate interior angles. You can find z as 180 minus the supplementary angle, right? So linear, this line makes 180 degrees. So z is equals to 180 degrees minus this is 110 degrees right 110 degrees take away 35 so at times you can also use calculator let's do it 180 take away 110 take away 35 equals to that is also 35 degrees in this particular case so we get z as 35 degrees so that is how you could actually solve such a question. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.